Welcome to our 14-day world tour. This is going to be a very fun adventure of painting landscapes around the world with watercolor. Let's check out the materials you'll have to bring in our trip. First is watercolor paper. For this tour, I use this cold press watercolor sketchbook from Etcher. This is made of 100% cotton and 300 GSM. You may also use a watercolor sheet or block for your projects. Next is watercolor paints. Here are the colors that are in my watercolor palette. These are yellow ochre, burnt chenna, Indian red, perylene violet, quinacridone rose, neutral tint, amethyst genuine or dioxazine violet as an alternative, horizon blue or cobalt turquoise light, lavender, compost violet, Payne's gray, permanent alizarin crimson, peach, indigo, olive green, Blue Apathy Genuine or Lunar Blue, Cobalt Blue, Perylene Red, New Gumboge, Hematite Genuine for rock textures, and Titanium White for highlights. You may refer to the color swatches to find a similar shade if you don't have the exact colors that I have, but I also encourage you to use the watercolor set or palette that you prefer using to give your paintings a more personal touch. The brushes that you will see me using all throughout the class are mainly round brushes. First is Renaissance Pure Red Sable Hair Brush in size 8 and 10. I use this for all the washes. Second is Silver Silk Synthetic Brush in size 10 and 2, which I use for fine strokes and details. This is a black velvet liner brush, size 1, for painting thin fluid lines for branches. Prepare also two cups of water, pencil, eraser, tissue paper, and water sprayer for moistening the paper and creating soft edges. I intentionally didn't use masking tape to create borders on my paintings as I want each exercise to be as loose, liberating, and pressure-free as possible. You can download the reference photos and final paintings in the resource section in the project and resources tab below this video. That's all you're going to need, so pack your bag and let's get started.